So I'm 33 weeks and a day today. And I just, I'm standing. But I'm gonna sit down. But I thought I would show. A little bump, a little bump. A great big bump. Big, big old bump. I had a doctor's appointment today. But before I talk about today's doctor's appointment, I wanted to talk about last time's doctor's appointment. Um, which I can't remember, I think it was 31. Oh, editing a video. Which that video that I'm editing is glucose test, so I think it's 26 weeks. So I'm almost caught up, guys. Um, so my goal in being caught up before the baby's born is we're there. We're gonna be. We're gonna be there. Easy. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stay that way. <laughs> um. Anyway, my last appointment with my last appointment, I think I was 31 weeks, and uh, at that appointment, I walked back. You know, the nurse comes out and she's um, takes me back to the room, whatever, and she like keeps kind of like looking at my stomach, just like, you know, like that. And uh, she goes, you're carrying really high. Can you breathe okay? <laughs> I was like, I mean, no, yeah, like I can breathe, but I'm pregnant, so no. <laughs> and she goes, and you're carrying all in front? And that's what people have told me. Everyone's kind of like, oh my gosh, you you don't even look pregnant except for like your stomach. I see it in my face too. Um, but everyone's just like, well, you're just all belly. And, uh, and then they measured me and I was measuring big. So at the time I was 31 and five. Yeah. And I measured at 30. Um, no, I was 30 and five. Yeah, I was 30 and five. And they measured me at 32. And she measured me, and then she had the nurse practitioner come and measure me again, just to be sure. She goes, yeah, you're measuring big. Um, but she said, that's not, you're not measuring. They want you to measure with a two centimeters of your how many weeks you are so me being 30 and 5 I was measuring 32 so I was within two weeks or two centimeters anyway but it was just kind of funny when she was like oh my gosh you're carrying so high and you're carrying all in front and you're measuring big and I like walked out of that appointment like I feel so justified right now and <laughs> how I'm feeling <laughs> it was kind of funny anyway so today appointment, I'm 33 and one today. And um, the nurse that I had, I don't like her. <laughs> she like, there's a couple different nurses that I can get and uh, the one I got today is not my favorite. And she, so they do, like when you go to your appointment, they do blood pressure, um, baby heart rate, and then they measure you. So when they do your blood pressure, you're sitting up, right? And then you have to lay down to do the heart rate and the, the measuring, whatever. But like, she didn't tell me my blood pressure, so I had to ask. She didn't tell me the baby's heart rate, so I had to ask. She didn't tell me how much I measure, so I had to ask. Every single time, I'm like, okay, what was that? Like, And I would wait a second, just like, give her a second to tell me. Anyway, and then after I laid down and she dealt all the things, then she's like, okay, you can sit up when you're ready. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> like, you think I can just sit up right now? Like, I can't, like, ha I have to, like, roll onto my side to be able to push my body. Like, you can't sit up when you're this far along. You can't. So I managed to get myself up, and then she left the room. Oh, my gosh, I got such bad cramps after that. Like, the cramping was so bad. It hurt so bad. I was like, do your job. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um... So I, my doctor came in and I asked for an induction date just because I like to have that on the calendar. I'm, we're planner type people and 
So it's nice to just have that on the, the calendar. And I found out that my doctor is gonna be out of town. My due date is the 17th. I don't even think I've mentioned that. My due date is the 17th. My doctor is gonna be out of town from the 8th to the 13th. I was like, no. And I, not that I wanted to be induced on one of those days particularly, but I mean, there's a good chance I could go into labor on one of those days. I'm like, no, I was so, I'm not mad because doctors have lives too. I literally, after that, like I got in my car and was like teary-eyed. Like, no. I really like my doctor. I really trust my doctor. And I really don't want another doctor that I don't know coming in and making decisions. And I don't know who he, who this person is. And I, it just makes me nervous. Um, and you know, you build a relationship with these doctors. I texted Mike and like I told him and he's like guess you'll be walking the curb <laughs> you know like the put one foot on top of the curb and one foot below and then walk this is like the puts you into labor supposedly I think it's just that old wives tale but I'm like dang it I gotta go into labor on the 7th <laughs> or something I'm mad so anyway my induction day and then just based off of like other things that he had on his calendar my induction day is now my due date, which is just fine. Chances of making it to that, I don't know. It's hard because I was I was induced with Luke two days before my due date, so not really early at all. Um, and so I don't know what my body, I don't know if I'm the type of person, I have a friend who, she doesn't go into labor. Like her body just doesn't. <laughs> She, her, she's had, she's pregnant with her third right now and she has to be induced and she gets induced like at 41 weeks, I mean, or something. Um, her body just doesn't go into labor naturally. So, and I don't know, I could be that, I totally could be that type of person. I just don't know. Um, so I could totally make it to my induction day of being my due date. I feel like the chances are probably slim. I did ask my doctor, is that a rumor or is it true that with every baby, that you birth, you could get earlier and earlier. And he said, no, that can be true. It doesn't happen with everyone. He said, but that can totally be true where you would, you know, and I asked my mom and my mom said it was true with her. Every baby she had was earlier and earlier. So chances of me making it to my induction date, I feel like are pretty slim, which is a bummer because I mean, if I had it, but in the few days before my induction date, he would be back in town. So he would probably still be able to deliver the baby. It's just a matter of, you know, him being around or him not being in another delivery or him not being in the middle of surgery. Cause he has a one day a week that he does surgeries, like hysterectomies. So he doesn't book any um, what is it called? <laughs> he doesn't book any, what's the, what are we talking about you guys? The thing that puts you into labor. <laughs> what is it called? I literally cannot think of it. Inductions. <laughs> that was dumb. I was like, it starts with a D. No, it does not. He doesn't book any inductions on the days that he does surgeries. So he'd still be around. It's just whether or not he would be available to deliver. Ah, oh, I'm so bummed. And I know I'm jumping the gun because who's to say? I don't know. He might, everything might work out just fine, but I still am like, dang it. So, oh well, it is what it is. There's no changing it. This baby will come when it wants, and he will or will not be here to deliver it. I pray that he is. Um, and I think part of me too is Luke's labor and delivery was so smooth. 
and my doctor delivered Luke. So in my mind, like that's related. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure it is partially related, but in my mind I'm like, I need to have another perfect delivery and another perfect labor and I need my doctor to be there to make sure it happens. Oh well. Anyway, so other than that, I'm good, I'm hot, it's summer. It's just, a, it's, it's fun being pregnant in the summer, I tell you what, swollen. That was something I didn't even experience at all with Luke, the swelling. The feet and the hands. Every morning I wake up and my hands are not like huge full, but like a comfortable. So I drink a ton of water in the morning because I'm like, gotta get that away. As long as I keep my water intake up and I don't spend too much time outside, I'm pretty good. Um, but it's really the water that makes all the difference for me. So, but everything's going good. He's getting strong. Baby's getting really strong. He's starting to roll, you know. You go from like kicks and punches to like the rolling and those yeah. as much as I love them they hurt they really do hurt but it's still fun it's fun to feel I I definitely am ready now I think I'm getting to the point now where I'm like switching over from I'm not ready to have a newborn to okay like I can I can make peace with this pregnancy I can say okay I'm done because you kind of really like you wait so long to be pregnant and it's hard to just like be done with it. <laughs> and then you're in the newborn world. But I am, I am to the point now where I feel like I can say, okay, I can say I'm ready to be done being pregnant and I'm ready to have the baby. I'm not actually ready to have the baby. I'm so behind on getting things together and buying what I need and buying the, I pulled out all the newborn clothes. They're literally Luke and this baby are six months off. So all the clothes I have that were for Luke are winter clothes. And all the clothes for this baby need to not be winter clothes because it's 100 degrees outside. I'm like, of course. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be the benefit of having the same gender is you don't have to buy anything? I have to still have to buy a bunch of stuff. So I've been going through and trying to figure out what I need. And I've ordered a few things. But I think I need to be a little more concerned about postpartum care um, than I am being because <laughs> the baby the baby has there's clothes I don't need to buy more I mean I need to buy maybe a few more things but there are things I need postpartum stuff so but I remember the hospital giving me a ton of stuff last time stuff that I had bought so then I was like oh I didn't even need to buy this stuff it's good to be prepared in case the hospital doesn't, but they gave me a ton of stuff last time. And then I had way too much stuff. So I don't want to over prepare, but I do need to get a few things so I can be at least kind of prepared. Anyway, okay, that's it. That's the update. I go back in two weeks. Um, we're on it every two weeks. Was it every two weeks now until 37 and then I think it's every week after that. And I think you get an ultrasound at 37 to make sure he's head down. I think he is, but I also am like, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Unless you feel them turn, I don't know. He probably is head down, but I don't know. So anyway, okay. Only a little bit longer and we'll be there. Just a little bit longer. I can't even believe it. I can't believe I'm inviting another baby into this house. Like, it's crazy to me to be like, I'm, we're gonna be family four. That's crazy to me. Oh man, pumped, pumped, nervous. I'm, I'm every emotion, but I'm like really pumped to have two kids now and have Luke be a big brother and hopefully he enjoys that. <laughs> At some point, he will be happy to be a big brother. I'm just not sure if it will be immediately, but anyway. Okay, that's it.